Hello guys, my name is Othelion and welcome back to the Banner Saga. Now, in this episode we have to choose between these three choices we got. Uh, the first one is just to leave and leave the Vral's fate alone, you know, without helping them. And also, we abide on Ivor, because he's still recovering, we don't know what happened after this tragic accident that he had. I, I don't want to uh, leave the Vral. I want to support them as much as I can. I know that our main uh, goal right now and mission, you can say, is to go and find Juno on Sigurd home. But I have I have the feeling that we're not done yet. I can't leave them behind. That's for sure. I don't trust the chieftain. He's um, he's completely mad. I know that. So uh, I'm between to fight on bridge or destroy the stick in the plan that uh, Igwin said and let him destroy the bridge. But that will make us have against us not only the dreads but the world too. And I don't want to to have that. So let's just say fight on bridge and see what will happen. At the war front, rows of Val are lined up, waiting for their turn to fill in as the warriors on the bridge battle dreads in one endless turn of bodies and blood. Fossil catches your eye in between giving orders. You lost, human? He says. Well, you can say that in a while, in one way, because I'm not quite sorry if I made the right choice here, but let's just say offer to help, because I don't want just to want to see how things were going, you know, so... Fair enough. Fossil admits. I'm not going to argue against putting you on the bridge. He says. But we've got plenty of wounded here as well, if you can walk a little. Um, no, thank you. I don't want to choose the other options here. We will fight on the bridge, because we're here to help for good. Fossil notes and puts you in line with others. Don't be a hero, he grunts. Kill a few and come back alive. A slow terror starts to creep in from waiting to go into battle, but eventually you find yourself face to face with rows of dreads packed shoulder to shoulder. So here we are boys, we can go back. This is our choice here. If it's stupid, we'll have to deal with it somehow. And uh, we'll have to think about Ivor and his kind to be saved. So, I guess this battle, oh, three big guys over there, oh god, anyway, let's um, dedicate this battle for Ivor. Let's put this old giant here, even you have to go back um, somewhere there, I guess, because I don't know what your ability is to be, honest. Um, Rook, I have to go to put you near to the giants, you to your left, and you to a lead. And even just stay there. Stay there just in case. You maybe need it. So Rook's first turn, I have to go close to them to hit them. So I'm guessing I have to move a little bit like there and attack. Let us do our first blood here. Our first move. Uh, okay. There are three big giants. I don't know how to deal with them. It's my first time, but we will try. Even what, I, what is your ability? Let's see. Arc lightning and mend. Oh, you can heal somehow. Let's use the arc the man but oh, no no we don't need that yet let's just uh, choose arc lightning um i have to go here i guess okay i have this dude in my range so let's see how bad is this let's um use two or three three stars why not three stars why not I want to see how strong it is. Oh! Ah, oh, three stars, why not? Ah, oh, I never noticed that red, to be honest. Let's attack this one. Yeah, with the star, we need it. We need to 
make them fall as fast as we can because if you remember that unit um, can summon more dreads small ones but why why you have three big dudes here they could summon a whole army you know so rook oh small chains here oh this is worth okay let's risk it why not deflect yeah it was too low oh all right dude chill don't hit your your guys too with your shield he's a mad dread big fella i don't know um hmm you need gear for that Ooh, you're full of armor now that's good because we need that we have still a long way till we manage to win that put that dreads down and do it now <laughs> Oh, you picked the right time to summon, dude. Okay, the first summon is already done. But this old grandpa Varl needs to finish that over here we don't need the star oh don't get close to my range units come on uh fossil hmm fossil i suggest you start hitting this one first oh oh man this dread is it's it's very angry mud with us I don't know why okay let's gear up let's uh, use a let this time to hit uh, hmm the big one or the small guy I think the big one that is the priority here Yes, yes, we did it. That was not so hard after all. And we got one promotion from Aleth, that's good. But uh, the priority here for the, the renown points is to just use it uh, for food. You would swear the fighting is getting more vicious and dangerous. Again, you let the next line of Varl push into battle when you don't dare to risk it anymore. Alright? Come back tomorrow, if you're looking for more, says Fasold. You sleep poorly, even suggesting to collapse the bridge repeating in your mind. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what now? Oh, we still can fight in the bridge or destroy it or leave, so let's fight again. You approach the bridge, which gets a raised eyebrow from Fasold, who is lagging a dead warrior over his shoulder. Back for more, he says, glancing out onto the bridge. You can tell they, that they have lost ground on the bridge since yesterday. Oh, that's bad news. 
I don't know how many battles I have to do it, but uh, we will try. What's the plan here? You ask with concern. I just do what Zorn tells me, replies Fasold. And right now we are killing every dread on that bridge, so throw in or piss off. If you don't want to fight, help me clear your bodies of the bridge. Our warriors are getting choked up around them. Well, I'm not here to just help you with that kind of stuff. I'm here to fight with you. You know the drill. Fossil tells you as you prepare yourself for another perilous fight. You're starting to wonder what the point of risking your life is if there is no progress to be seen. And that's... That's right. But let's just hope that we can change that. So, guys, I'm gonna put all the battles, I don't know how many they are, but I'm gonna put all the battles in kind of skippy way. I don't want to uh, make a long video. I want to make it short. <coughs> now, if you want to see the battles and, and you want it to just to be here without adding them or cut them, uh, you can go ahead and send me your comments about it. So I can know for the next parts to be as uh, full as I can. Alright, one more battle is done and we are the winners, or at least we think that we are, because I don't see that it progressed too well, uh, battles on the bridge. So, you would swear the fighting is getting more vicious and dangerous, again you let the next line of foul push into battle when you don't dare to risk it anymore. Come back tomorrow if you're looking for more, says Fasol. You sleep poorly, ah we know that stuff already. So, I don't know guys. Um, I think we should still fire on the bridge at least for last time. Let's hope that is it, that this is the last time. As you approach on the third day, the warriors are in more disarray than usual. Where's Fossil? You ask one of the passing row. Didn't make it. Here it lies. Dreads nearly at the mouth on the bridge, barely held back. Your mind starts to wander into dark places. Okay, uh, rip Fossil. I'm so sad that he died. You snap back to Antesin when you realize nearly the entire army of Varl are staring in your direction. Oh, what's that? Ivor walks past, shuffling slowly with an enormous axe in his remaining hand. He heads toward the bridge. Oh, Ivor, come on. He's good? He, he's fine again? Ivor, you yell, but he doesn't reply, plunging his axe into the nearest dreads before kicking it over the side of the bridge. Come on, he screams at the black horde. Cursing <laughs> your ass to his side in battle. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We have Ivor back, and that's good. And I'm glad that he's okay. Uh, One-handed, but he's okay. So let's just see about this battle now. Let's put Ivor in the same, similar way like the other battles. Let's put the range units at Ewins. All together in the back line. All right, and press ready. Now let's battle. Uh, Rook, you have to rest for the moment, so we can. Uh, even I think it's gonna be the same to you also, because we don't need you for men for the moment, and you need to. We need to save the stars that we got, the star power, just in case when we might need it for good. So let's make our first hit now that we have at least one red near to us and our reins. That was not too much damage but it's a start, right? Oh, as I see we have a lot of slingshot guys here so I believe that all the ground will be filled with those gem bombs that they throw. Um, leave keep continue hitting this big guy too yeah 12 health left 
Oh, we got another approach over there, but let's just put Kramer out of the them bombs and hit the big fella. Six, that's good. And we need to have priority on the big guy because uh, we don't want more dreads to come from summoning. So, Ivor, I'm trusting you, pal. Let's hit that dude over there. Don't throw another Zen bombs, please. Please. Uh, it's, it looks like Zen, but it was just a hit for Krem, and that was not too bad. So. We're gonna be survive this. Rook, I uh, think, nah. Let's hit the small guy to support Ivor, because you're the closest friend. Alright. Okay, now we have even with us, but let's see. Nah, we don't need steel men, but. Um, let's put you closer. Somewhere here. And let's use the arc lighting, and this time, without making a mistake, let's use all the stars to see how much damage you can hit. Ooh, that was not only for damage for the big guy, it was also for the ranged units that they got. And that's good, that was a massive damage. Um, it's a lead time, let finish that big guy, please. Yeah, one is done. We got only small ones and the raids units that we need to be careful. So, Outlave, don't get close to the gems. But the bombs are still active. And attack this dude over there. Okay. Whoa, finally. The bombs are off. Right now we have clear ground. Kremel and this dude. Okay, we have only ranged units as I see. Yeah, only slingshot guys. So let's put Ivor close to them so he can say hi to them. Hi, how are you? No bartering, Ram. No, 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 no. I don't want to push Kromu on my side. Let's end the turn. So, okay, they're looking at you. That's good. So we can uh, distract, distract them. Without seeing Rook that is getting close. Okay. As I see, we can kill right away one dreads more. Alright. Four of them left. Let's see what we're going to do now. Let's uh, gear up, I mean, the armor to Ivor because we need him. We need him to be strong. Let's use only one star to see. Oh, it's almost full now. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to keep hit Ivor. Yeah, yeah. And let us do our dirty work here. Let's end this threads too. Man, this battle is so much easier than the first than the previous two battles that we dealt with. Okay. I'd leave to the same. Ah, no, no, we are out of the reins, but uh, we're gonna have our giant's turn now. Oh, Ivor needs to get out of there. But he got two shiny bombs. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah, keep hitting, keeping hitting stuff. Let's move Ivor on that side. I hope Ewing don't get hurt with that bombs over there. Uh, I can't reach the other guy, so unfortunately I have to hit this one. So one more dreads left, and that's good. Man, from the moment that Ivor joined us, uh, we get we got a good spirit, a real good spirit, and we gonna end this battle right now. That's good. That's very good. Let's hope that we even more. Here on points this time. Twelve. That's that's a good number, yeah. Enough of this, groans Ivor, who seems to have snapped out of his days. This is getting us nowhere. You follow as he climbs the stairs and throws open the doors of the great hall. Oh, Ivor is going to face 
the madness of Zorn. I can't wait to see that scene. Ingvar, glad to see you well. You swear you got a note of trepidation in the king's voice. Zorn, enough. This fight cannot be won. Again this? I will be damned if that bridge falls during my reign. You will let our whole race die. We will all be gone someday, Ingvar. I did not tell you. There are no more Val being made tomorrow, or a thousand years from now. We are it. And I will not destroy what we have made. Will you leave no trace of us when we are gone? As if we never existed? I know this, but yours is one voice of many. I know what the Val are equal. The days of Kendra are over. I ask this Val, all there is left in the world, to follow me and live another day. Who do you think they will choose? The weight of the air in the Great Hall becomes so thick it nearly suffocates you. The silence continues for ages. Go on. Take the Mender, destroy the Brits. Do it and live. Take whoever will join you and do not return to my city. The Alliance of Man and Val is through. Ivor is almost out the door before Zornur has finished his sentence. Yes, yes, finally we're leaving from this place. Led by Ivor, the Valp who's hard one last time against the dreads until there is room enough for even to take position and start raining down lightning bolts on the bridge supports. Before long the monster is shattered mess and begins to give under its own weight. Val and Dreads alike race to escape the collapse. When the dust clears, there's a gulf between you and the Furious Dreads. They won't be crossing this way. You've gotten what you wanted, said Zorn. Now live. If I ever see Mon or Mender again, it will be too soon. Even tells you, Juno will be waiting for us in Singer Hall. Despite the end of the immediate threat, many Val choose to join Ivor instead of following Zorn. You depart with a long caravan at your heels. Yeah, baby, we got the most Vals with us, I guess. And finally, we, we don't mess the relationship humans and Vals. So, chapter 6 of Our Bones, the Heels. And uh, if I remember right, uh, the game, the Banner Saga game, the first uh, contains 7 chapters, so we're getting close. And I can't wait to play Banner Saga 2, to be honest, yeah. So we got 20, uh, 220 clansmen, we got 165 fighters and 60 whole worlds. And I think that we made also the right decision to support them in the breeds. Oh, a group of men with broad shoulders and thick cloaks approach the caravan. They might be outlaws you hear nearby and the idea quickly ripples through the clansmen. Okay, I don't trust them. One of the strangers approaches saying, We have run out of food. Any help will be welcome. His hard eyes reveal nothing of his motivations. Hmm, that smells like a trap, but... Ah, you consider how you want to approach this. So we got the options, offer no food, but inform them of the dreads, ask them how they came to be here, fight with us and eat your food. I think that's... That's a fair option here. Decline to help the strangers offer them a few days worth of supplies. Let's say fight with us and eat your food. The men look surprised by your offer. In short order they join the caravan and start selling tales and drinks. Unfortunately, it is less than a day later that you discover they have vanished along with a sizable portion of your supplies. Oh goddammit, we lost 22 supplies? Oh, oh, that was a bad choice here, but um, uh, at least we got for 18 days food still and let's hope that single home is not too far. The caravan consists of more clansmen than you ever expected. Accusations of stolen chickens, missing heirlooms and concerns over daughter's riches are the sorts of things you hear relentlessly. Even fighters complain of spreading too thin to protect everyone. 
And our choices here is carry on and put up with it, try to address the major issues, try to keep people useful and peace for petty squabbles, form a council to handle these problems, or split the caravan. Mm. I think if I form a council, that will might help us a lot. You select a few older members to solve everyday issues, but in fighting neuters they progress. Other members feel they could do a better job. Ultimately, while it buys some time, the council dissolves, tired of the thankless and demanding work. Oh, that didn't go well too. Hmm. Anyway, I think it's time to camp and get some rest, because the morale here is not so high enough, it's a neutral mood that they got all these people. So let's spend some days till we got right now the good morale. Alright, um, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. And uh, to be honest, now that I see the timing from the game capturing that I'm doing right now, uh, it's a very long video. So. I'm gonna find some ways to make it shorter to be easier to be viewed. And one last thing, uh, I might chose not to make a previously video on this part because uh, it contains mostly, it has story of course, but it contains mostly battles. So I'm gonna put a more generic previously video on the next part. So until next time everybody, take care, bye bye.